I just wish I didn't have such a foreign name and such a noticeable accent. That was what my 17-year-old self repeatedly thought after introducing myself in front of my very first college chemistry class in the US. I remember sitting anxiously in this giant 200 people lecture hall, waiting for my turn to share my name and hometown. Every time my classmates spoke, the room filled with friendly exchanges, conversations, and laughter. It almost felt physically warmer as everyone got to know a little bit more about each other. Finally, it was my turn. And confidently, and with the biggest smile, I spoke. Hi, my name is Con, and I'm from Vietnam. And the room went completely silent. More than 100 pairs of eyes just stared at me. Some are intrigued, some are curious. But no one could respond it or say anything relatable to that. So eventually, I just sat down awkwardly. I was so embarrassed because I felt like the moment my name was uttered, there has been this invisible wall pulled up between me and the rest of the class. It was such a shame too, because growing up, I've always been proud of how unique my name is and the fact that my father's name is in my middle name. But I couldn't help to feel so self-conscious in that moment because I was just a 17-year-old self, 17-year-old student who was very desperate to fit in. During my first two years in college, I did all sorts of things to be the part. I lied to my roommate that I was very invested in the Super Bowl. I was in fact thought that was a bowling tournament for the longest time. Every time someone sneezed, I would rush to be the first person saying, bless you, because that's just so American. And I even used slangs I didn't understand in every conversation I could to sound cool because everyone around me seemed cool and belong, and I did not. Honestly, I felt like a chameleon who kept changing myself to fit in, but ironically, the more I did that, the more I felt like the odd one out. On a fateful evening in March 2022, I mustered the courage to apply to be an international student ambassador. During my time in this position, I noticed something special. And that is international students, especially new students, usually bond together strongly like a big family. And if you think about it, it's kind of strange because you cannot have a more diverse, a more different friend group than that. Everyone comes from all corners of the world, speak different languages, grew up from different cultural backgrounds, yet their connection form so easily and almost instantly. Perhaps it's the similar experience of being so far away from home for the first time, the shared sentiment of missing their home food and their family back home, the excitement of exploring this new place that pulled them together. I believe it's the fact that these students, they cherish the similarities, what they have in common, and they put aside the differences between them, and that was the magic. In the same year, I was also trusted to be president of the Vietnam Student Association on campus. Our group at the time was brand new and all of our members were young and passionate. We wanted to host multiple cultural celebrations events and we just wanted to show up every chance we could. But honestly, deep down, I was very nervous and skeptical at first. For so long, I have been trying to hide that part of me, and I've convinced myself that whatever stories that I have, that we have, won't be interesting enough for anyone to care. However, the tremendous support from our community members proved me wrong. There were so many people showed up, walked up to us, and shared a connection with the Vietnam culture, what they understand, and even when they don't, they're always eager to learn more, and you can almost sense that in their eyes. They are even part of our cultures that are so ingrained in our daily lives, like how we express ourselves, our family dynamic, that are so ingrained in our daily lives that almost go unnoticed. Yet, people were able 
to resonate with them in the most unexpected ways. And the more people we were able to connect to and resonate with like that, the more meaningful what we are representing felt like. And before I knew it, introducing my foreign name and sharing my foreign stories no longer felt awkward, but became so powerful, so endearing, and so prideful. That was how for the first time since I stepped foot in the US, I felt truly belonged. It was totally different from what I've imagined. My 17-year-old self have always thought that I have to look, I have to behave and think exactly the same as everyone to belong. But the very differences, the very uniqueness that I thought were holding me back turned out to be my most powerful attribute and the very key to true belonging. From my journey, I learned that for every one of us, embracing our identities, heritage, uniqueness, cultural background, is the best strategy to stand out and to move forward. Because that is when the people who truly share the same values with you and who truly care will gravitate your way. I admit that it will be a very challenging and intimidating journey because you have to put yourself out there and be willing to be vulnerable. But outside of our comfort zone is also where new opportunities await. And the fact that I'm having the honor to stand here and share with you this story is a testament to this. And even though my story is about the experience of an international student, I hope my message can reach beyond that and to anyone who is expanding their horizon and at some point feels like the odd one out, whether in age, in experience, in belief, in knowledge, and so on. For example, when you walked into this room today, did the professional setup, did the nicely dressed audience and MCs and staff members and the confident speakers make you feel perhaps a little bit self-conscious? Did you catch yourself trying to talk more formally, stand or sit more properly and poised to seem the part? Now, I want you to turn and look around to the people behind, next to, and in front of you. And let's point out three things that you and them have in common. Let's do this together. First, we all are human beings. <laughs> and then second, Let's say we all have some sort of um, clothes or garments on our body, hopefully. And then third, the fact that we gather here today means that we all have the same curiosity for knowledge and a shared passion for bettering ourselves. You see how easy that was? In fact, if you think hard about it, there are more similarities between you and any person on this planet than differences. So from now on, no matter which room you may find yourself in, remind yourself that you always do belong in one way or another. And after today, I want you to remember that your uniqueness is not just your challenge, it is your strength. And we all do belong, not in spite of our differences, but because of them. Thank you.